Hello friends, this is Mrs. Rio Scorza. When I was growing up, many of us children had nicknames. Most of the time the nicknames we were given were chunks of our real names. Uh, but sometimes people would give someone a nickname that was a description of one of their character traits. And most of the time it was something that people laughed about. Well, even though I was young, sometimes I would feel sad for the people who were being picked on. And I felt sad that they were given silly names when it was when it is uh, loving and playful, that's one thing. But when it is meant to hurt someone, that is unacceptable. Here's a story about some friends who learn a valuable lesson. It is called Nicknames. And this is the cover page. Well, the, yes, the cover page. And it is by Cecil Kim and illustrated by Su Jin Han. This is the title page of the book. Nicknames. One sunny day, a little rabbit hopped along, feeling very happy. But a fox and a raccoon made fun of him. Look at his big feet! Hey, Bigfoot, they said. And here's the picture. When the little rabbit munched a carrot, the fox and the raccoon appeared again. Look at how his teeth stick out. Hey, big tooth. Little rabbit was angry. His ears stood straight up. Ha ha, cried the fox and the raccoon. Look at his ears. Hey, trumpet ears. So there you go. The little rabbit sat by the pond and looked at his reflection. It is true. I have big feet, big teeth, and big ears. He felt sad and started to cry. And there he is, feeling sad. Grandmother sat the little rabbit on her lap. Don't be sad, she told him. Your big feet and big ears help you avoid danger. Your big teeth help you munch on crunchy foods. These are things to be happy about. The little rabbit smiled. Grandmother, you're right. Thank goodness for grandmothers. A few days later, the little rabbit saw the fox and the raccoon arguing. The fox said to the raccoon, You are so ugly. Look at you. You've got black glasses on your face. That made the raccoon mad. How dare you call me ugly? I'm not playing with you, trickster. Oh dear. They're not happy, are they? The little rabbit thought about this. Bad names made people feel bad. It, bad names made friends fight. What they needed were good names. Here he is thinking.
the little rabbit said to the fox, Hello, clever fox. To the raccoon, the little rabbit said, Hi, handsome raccoon. The fox was surprised. Why do you call me Clever Fox? My nickname is Trickster. You're smart, said the little rabbit. You have a lot of intelligence. The ra raccoon was also surprised. Why am I Handsome Raccoon? My nickname is Ugly One. You look as though you are wearing cool black glasses and a stylish gray suit, said the little rabbit. When a, then a strange thing happened. The fox was no longer a trickster. He became very clever. The raccoon did not look ugly. He acted like a handsome gentleman. The fox, the raccoon, and the little rabbit became very good friends. The clever fox had an idea. Why don't we give good nicknames to our friends in the forest? So the little rabbit, the raccoon, and the fox put their heads together. Let's see what they're going to do. Squirrel works so hard. He gathers food and saves it. Bear has such a good heart. He never gets angry. What are good nicknames for squirrel and bear? Woodpecker knows everything that happens in the forest. Mole digs the best holes. He has a good underground home. Warthog is very strong. He can roll huge rocks. What are good nicknames for them? And there, there they all are. There's Mole. The little rabbit, fox, and raccoon thought for some of some good nicknames for their friends. Angel Bear, you have a good heart. Busy Squirrel, you gather a lot of food. Wise Woodpecker, you know everyone in the forest. Builder Mole, you made another home today. Powerful Warthog, you are so strong and brave. The next day, the little rabbit was with his grandmother when he heard someone call out to him. Noble rabbit! Noble rabbit! Come and play with us! What does noble rabbit mean? The little rabbit asked his friends. It means you are a kind rabbit who is good to everyone, they said. The little rabbit smiled. He really, really liked his new noble nickname. And now there's a letter from Grandmother. Dear Little Rabbit, I was so pleased to hear all about the good nicknames you thought of for your friends. 
You and I have often talked about how words can be used to help others or hurt others. And now I know that you were really listening well with your big, beautiful ears when we talked about that. Every day, we can choose how to use our words. We can choose to use them wisely or foolishly. You used your words very wisely when you found nicknames for your friends that named something about each one. What a smart little rabbit you are. Your friends also chose their words wisely when they nicknamed you Noble Rabbit. Your words and actions are careful, thoughtful, and fair. That is very noble thinking indeed. With lots of love, Grandmother Rabbit. And there's Little Rabbit reading his letter from Grandmother Rabbit. So, that was a nice story. I really liked it. It talks about how words can make you feel. They can make you feel happy or sad or hurt or uplifted. Let's use uplifting words for everyone around us. Even when we give people nicknames, let's make it something that brings out a character trait that is noble about them. Until next time, this is Mrs. Rios Garza. Bye.